First Alert Weather with meteorologist Ted Schmidt. Uh, a few moments ago, we were checking in the Century High School and their polar plunge, which is happening today. Mayo High School had one yesterday. It was a little bit warmer for theirs, Ted. A little sunnier, a little warmer uh, today, a little breezier, a little uh, uh, more unsettled, uh, definitely a little cooler. Temperatures, though, still for this time of the year are rather mild. We have to remind, remind ourselves that, yes, it, the 60s and the 70s we experienced earlier this week were record-setting and abnormally warm, but even 50s that we're experiencing right now. These are well above the average as well. It's 38, or 39 degrees actually. It's today's uh, 30 year climate average for high temperature. If we're in the 40s, we're doing pretty well. 50 is, is abnormally mild again. So a little change, but definitely still above average. As we look outside, some clouds around the area. We did have rain earlier. Uh, if you were awake before sunrise, you got to experience some of the showers here in Rochester, but you had to be up really early for that to happen. You've had sprinkles on the radar, really nothing of any consequence though, since early uh, portion of the day. Showers uh, yielding 200 of an inch since midnight. The overall total, six hundredths of an inch since last night into this morning. North Iowa has seen the lion's share of the rainfall so far, approaching a third of an inch of rainfall in Charles City. They're doing well with the rain, uh, 14 hundredths of an inch in Decorah, 17 hundredths of an inch in Mason City. So here in Rochester, a total of for the year, 1.1 inches. Uh, we would normally be doing uh, much better than this, but we only have seven hundredths of an inch of rain in for the month of March. Our deficit for the month, six tenths of an inch deficit for the year, 1.6 inches, and that seems to be growing, even though we did finally get measurable rain for the first time in a week. Uh, actually, 10 days is the last time we had measurable rain. 51 right now in Rochester, 52 in Austin, North Iowa, wetter and cooler, 45 in Decorah, and 49 in Mason City. You look for some maybe peaks of the sun today here in Rochester. Skies are beginning to thin a little bit, 51. Uh, kind of a brisk breeze at 14 miles per hour. Air pressure is rising in the wake of the storm system that's generating heavier showers south of us, parts of Iowa and Illinois. That's slowly pulling away to the southeast. We're seeing clearing skies from the north, and eventually tonight, skies will clear. But they have sunshine tomorrow. Mild Friday, more 50s in store. The weekend, as a cold front comes through, a lot of wind. Much colder weather coming in for especially Sunday as we begin to feel more like March weather. Those howling winds and chilly temperatures that you often feel this time of the year. Spotty showers in North Iowa. That goes on until about 4 or 5 o'clock. Then we're pretty much rain-free across the entire map. Skies clear off tonight with a light breeze. Then tomorrow, a light to moderate breeze. Maybe 10 or 15 miles per hour, but mild sunshine. And then a cold front comes in late tomorrow night into Saturday morning. That's going to generate some powerful winds, uh, delivering highs of the 40s at first on Saturday, but only 30s on St. Patrick's Day. Rain chances today in North Iowa uh, tapering off in the next few hours. Otherwise, we wait a week or more before we see more precipitation. 50s today, dropping to around 30 tonight with clearing skies. And back to the low 50s on uh, Friday. Look for temperatures to be above average, but cooler than recent days. 40 and 50s for a while, then 30s on St. Patrick's Day. That's the coldest day maybe of the entire month. Uh, certainly of this week, we recover uh, next week, the 40s and 50s. Showers south, today mostly cloudy, 55. Northeast winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, a light breeze, clearing skies this evening, partly cloudy, 30 degrees overnight. And the seven-day forecast, we're looking at uh, some uh, sunshine in the coming days tomorrow, low 50s. We'll have uh, some 40s, then 30s over the weekend. A lot of sunshine uh, for the most part in the next several days. Yeah, nice, bright, but cooler trend. Definitely, yes, not record uh, temperatures for a while, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Ted.